Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I am going to go over what is Zorin OS, why Zorin OS is better than Windows 10 from a privacy slash security perspective, customization perspective, and more perspective. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark now. Come on now, come on now, come on now. So like I said before, we're going to talk about Zorin OS first. So it's basically a Linux distribution that was you know, it's basically based on Ubuntu designed to provide a user friendly experience for people transitioning from Windows or Mac OS, right? So it offers both free and paid versions and features a heavily customized desktop environment, right? Using, you know, XFCE or Genome, right? By default. So to make it, you know, the, the interface more familiar and accessible to users, of traditional operating systems. Now, the history of Zoan OS is kind of interesting, right? So, the origins and founders, you know, it, it start it was started in 2008 by you know Art Yom and Cairo Zorin, who were just 12 and 14 years old at the time. Their motivation came after trying Linux and realizing its technical superiority but also its lack of user friendliness for the general public. So they set out to create a Linux distribution that was easy for basically anyone to use, especially those accustomed to, you know, like I said, the Mac OS and the Windows. Now, the first release was the Zorin OS 1.0 that launched on July 1st, 2009. So this release served as a proof of concept for their vision. So a Linux desktop that was accessible, fast, secure, and privacy respecting. You know we the cybersecurity channel, we love that, right? Now the development focus from the beginning, Zorin OS has prioritized familiarity, simplicity, and ease of migration for users coming from other operating systems. So the features like Zorin Appearance tool, you know, that allows users to quickly switch desktop layouts to mimic Windows or Mac OS, easing the transition so there is you know growth in community over the years so it has grown significantly with millions of downloads and a strong community in july 2024 zorin os had reached over 1.3 million downloads and upgrades for its latest you know release at that time in just six months with a notable majority of new users coming from windows and mac i know they're beefing right now oh, they done took our they done took a piece of our market mm -hmm. <laughs> So Zorin OS is funded primarily, you know, by the community through purchases of the Pro Edition and donations. You know, the project remains committed to open source principles with source code available, you know, for public access. So, you know, with the cybersecurity channel, we got to talk about privacy and security, right? In regards to Zorin OS and why it's better than Windows. So it's built on Linux and does not include spyware or personal monitoring software. So it does not collect personal data by default and only telemetry present is the optional Zorin OS census, which simply counts active users without recording personal information and users can opt out, right? So the Zorin team emphasizes privacy as a fundamental right, right? And the operating system is open source, allowing anyone to audit its code to verify privacy and claims. Take that hackers, take that hackers. So Zorin OS 17.3 has switched its default browser to Brave specifically for its strong privacy features, such as built-in tracker and ad blocking, fingerprint protection, and private browsing with Tor. So this change has made, you know, was made to align with Zorin OS's commitment to privacy after you know concerns about firefox's policy changes so like most linux distributions zorin os benefits from the inherent security model of linux including strict file permissions and the requirement for root access to make system changes which reduces the risk of unauthorized data collection or malware me like it me like it that me like it that we love that right so Windows, by contrast, is known for extensive telemetry and data collection, right? It sends significant information about users and their PCs back to Microsoft by default and opting you know, out of this data collection requires navigating complex settings. So Windows, why, why, why are you giving our stuff away? So Windows grants more system access by default, increasing the risk of malicious software gaining access to user data. Now, privacy controls in Windows are less transparent and harder to manage, making it challenging for users to fully protect their personal information. 
So that's that aspect, right? But there is an interesting customizable and familiar interface. So Zorin OS is deliberately designed to echo the look and feel of Windows, you know, 10, 11, whatever floats your boat, offering a familiar desktop layout with taskbar and start style menu. So this makes the transition for Windows users, you know, much smoother and less intimidating, right? Users can choose from multiple, you know, themes, including those that mimic not only Windows 11, but also Chromebook, Mac OS, you know, the classic genome, you know, those kinds of things, right? So Zorin OS Pro expands these options even further, allowing deep personalization of desktop environment. Now there's a fluid and, you know, modern in the aesthetics. So the operating system emphasizes smooth transitions, right? And responsive design, providing a visually pleasing and distraction free experience that rivals or even surpasses the fluidity of Windows 11, 10, whatever floats your boat, whatever floats your boat. So Zorin OS's visual appeal is consistently highlighted as one of its most striking features with a modern aesthetic that can be tailored to different tastes and hardware capabilities, including a lightweight, light version for older machines. Now, here are the notable advantages it has over Windows 11. So we have efficiency. So users report Zorin OS's, you know, it runs cooler and extends battery life significantly compared to Windows 11 on the same hardware, contributing to a faster and, you know, snappier experience and less fan noise. There's the upgrade and convenience. So the one click upgrade system in Zorin OS is designed for ease, preserving user data and systems mirroring the convenience of Windows, but with less risk of disruption. And we talked about that privacy stuff, right? Privacy, we cannot disregard that. We need that, all right? There's no ifs, ands, or buts around that. So in regards to app integration, Zorin OS, you know, includes a robust app store that aggregates multiple repositories, making it easy to find, install, and update both mainstream and niche applications. It's, it's versatility. It has, you know, additions tailored with different user needs, core, light, or pro. Zorin OS ensures compatibility and a modern experience, even older, uh, you know, you know, on hardware, right? On older hardware. There's resource usage and system demand. So it's built on Linux, right? It's widely recognized, you know, for its lightweight nature and lower resource consumption compared to, you know, you got the Windows 11, 10, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna keep saying that. So this efficiency, you know, allows it to run smoothly on both modern and older hardware, making it a strong choice for revitalizing aging machines or, you know, maximizing battery life on laptops. So users report that on identical hardware, Zorin OS runs, again, cooler, quieter, with significant less fan activity and heat generation than Windows 10, Windows 11. So this directly translates to longer battery life sometimes up to three or four times longer compared to Windows 10 or whatever on the same device. So in regards to speed and responsiveness, uh, Zoan OS you know, has focused on performance optimizations at every entry level, right? Or level from the kernel to the desktop environment. As a result, users experience faster app launches, smoother animations, and reduced loading times, contributing to a snappier and more responsive desktop you know, experience. So while some anecdotal reports note that, you know, boot times can be slower on certain hardware due to configuration issues like the CPU frequency, uh, scaling, etc., these are typically addressable and do not reflect the general experience of most users, right? So, you know, Linux based systems in regards to system efficiencies, you know, they handle file and memory management more. Uh, efficiently than, you know, some would say than Windows 11, 10, you know, leading to faster boot times, less background activity and lower idle resource usage, right? So the absence of heavy telemetry, the background services and forced updates, you know, that are common in Windows 11 and further reduces system overhead and allows users more control over, you know, their, you know, computing environment. So if that's what I have you today, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you appreciate this video and you want more videos like this, let me know that right now by hitting that subscribe button and the like button. Also, let me know your opinions in the comment section below. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.